something to think about. I mean, we're trying to prepare with making stuffed artichokes and money wraps. And it turns out I got over a hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't mind being in the vlog? No, I think it's cool. Looks like they're posing. Hi, I'm Dee, and welcome to my channel, Dee Lovely Life encouraging others with hope and positivity as a family caregiver and homemaker. A variety of videos, sharing, showing, chatting, and sometimes a burst of laughs. Let's face it, things happen in life, so why not make it lovely? If these loose pants fit, <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> They're still loose. <laughs> Washed everything, including the second new hummingbird feeder, and finally going to use these to replace. Look, that looks bad. So I'm trying to take these off, which they come out pretty easy by just pushing on that. Woo! You should. Cool. Just like that. Just like new again. one right in front of Queen G's window just so that she can see I need to really clean my windows <laughs> and then the other one the usual spot so they know where it's at but I have this one hummingbird <laughs> he keeps claiming this feeder as his any other hummingbird that comes over to feed it'll all zoom out of nowhere and then chase it off so I'm hoping that with two of these the other hummingbirds will have a chance. <laughs> and it also seems like I have critters coming around for water. So my neighbor fam had this extra water jug. So I just washed it and I put some clean water in there. So we have possums, skunks, stray cats. Everyone wants water and I just feel so sorry for them. Went ahead and cleaned that for them. Okay, this is when I should have grabbed my tripod trying to get the the perfect shot here here hummingbirds 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 no I'm just kidding what have I turned into just kidding the wild kingdom over here brought to you by D at D lovey life holding her camera like a crazy person for hummingbirds <laughs> hey give me a thumbs up okay people just kidding actually I'm not kidding give me a thumbs up Comment down below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I am so committed. <laughs> in the morning. Like 
really? I heard something and I was like, what the heck is out there? And then look what I find. Oh. Posing. They are cute. the other two go. So she's just gonna stare at me. <laughs> How funny. It's like she's not even scared or anything. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Meanwhile, the kids are somewhere out this way. Interesting.
editing. This is post travel reset video. Like kind of like a day in the life. I don't know exactly what to title. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you guys watch this by now. It should be up. So we're here at the VIP the VIP section here at the Levi Stadium. I think of C L ten. I'm all are we gonna be on Alright, hold on, I gotta Come do the whole thing. Watch, watch. <laughs> <laughs> Being in the vlog? No, I think it's cool. This is my best friend Lexi. Sorry, what's Been friends what's since what's how long? God, since 1974. Oh my god! I know. <laughs> we were alive in 1974. Best friends. Next door neighbors. We're each other's ride or die. But look how yeah, close yeah. that stadium is. This was a bucket list concert of mine, Elton John's final concert in the San Francisco Bay Area tonight. So we knew it was going to be a special one. And she was extremely ill. She was so thin. She was this thin. And before the show started, I went backstage and said, Aretha, let me do it. You're so sick. You can't do it. And she said, honey, I was supposed to do it two years ago, and I let you down. I'm not going to let you down again. And she came out and sat at the piano like this with a band. And for one hour and 25 minutes, she blew the roof off of the cathedral. I have never witnessed anything like it in my life. I was there people, other musicians, artists crying because you'll never see that again. She was truly a great, great talent. Um, and so I want to dedicate this song to the everlasting beauty of Aretha Frank. And I think it's gonna be a long, long time. Saved my life tonight. It's that time of evening now where I introduce the uh, band, the musicians and the singers on stage. I've had a lot of bands in my lifetime, starting out in 1969 with the late great Dean Murray on bass guitar and vocals and Nigel Oss on drums and vocals. And since then there have been many lineups, 
all containing brilliant musicians and singers. And I've been very privileged to play with all of them, and I've learned from all of them, and I've had a great time with all of them. But this band I have now is something different. And every night when I come on stage, I haven't really said hello to them on this whole tour, because we live in a COVID bubble. But I come on stage every night, and I know they're going to knock me out with what they play. And we have so much fun, and I can't thank them enough. So I'm going to introduce them one by one. You're going to give them a big Santa Clara roar, okay? On the right hand side of the stage, on percussion and vocals, John Mayhawk! Keyboard Wizard, Kim Bullard. <laughs> On bass guitar folks, Matt Bissonnette. <laughs> one of the most incredible musicians I've ever played with and one of the most fascinating people I've ever met who's been in and out of the band since 1973. And we're so glad he's done the Farewell Yellow Brick Road tour because he adds so much to us musically and visually. He's played with everyone there is to play with on stage and record that's any good. And in 1979, he and I went around the world and played about 120 shows, just the two of us. And it was one of the most extraordinary experiences of my life. On percussion, Ray Cooper! Well, he was playing drums and singing in 1969, and he still is, 53 years later. Because there's no one better than Nigel Olsen! David Johnson had played acoustic guitar on Mad Man Across the Water. And I wanted to uh, go to France and record a different kind of album without orchestra. And I asked David to come along and he picked up an electric guitar for the very first time in the studio. And of course, as you can hear, has never looked back. And he's my band leader that gets everyone together in Los Angeles and rehearses them. So when I come over, I have very little work to do. So I'm very grateful to him for that. He's also got his own album out now, now, now called Deeper Than My Roots, which you have to check out. On guitars and vocals from Edinburgh in Scotland, David Johnston! Woo! I have some people who I'd like to dedicate this song to. Um, Jeffrey Frankel and Alan, Christina Wood of the Roblox team, and one of the most fantastic people I've ever met, and one of the most beautiful and cerebral, John Baez. Love you so much, John. This is for you. Spears on the go now, so uh, it's all happening here. But this was my first ever hit 52 years ago. Lexi and I sang, we danced, we screamed. It was the ultimate concert experience I will never forget. But the ridiculous parking and exiting of the Levi Stadium was super bad. We ended up walking two and a half miles to be picked up. To say I was tired was <laughs> an understatement, but it was all worth it. It was time for me to catch up with my bestie, and I I just had a blast. There's like no words to describe it. If you haven't seen Elton, you have a chance. Go see him. 
<laughs> All right, so today's challenge for Queen G and I is what, Mom? After we um, we laugh or something, what does our laugh have to sound like? Ah ha 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 ha! Laugh here. <laughs> We're cracking up over here. It's hilarious. So we'll see how we do today. Okay, we're here at Costco. And um, we left my sister Pam a, um, a voicemail. And Pam says, we're too funny. We're out of control with our ha, 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 ha. So far, you've been, you've been doing good on that. <laughs> Hi, Bob. <laughs> We're having fun with it so far. We'll see how far this goes though. All right, we're gonna go grab some stuff that we need. It's our only book for it. Very close by other stuff. Yeah. You like it, Mom? Mm. Should we get it? A hamper, it's only $22.79 and it has a lid. There you go, Mom. New hamper. Nothing but the best. <laughs> I'm looking for the uh, cordless still. Oh, here's a food saver, $99. Here's the bags, $23. That's $100. Yeah. $101. One dollar. Ooh, look at these. These are only $32.99. Look. Nautica has a hood. White. Navy. Red. And then it's a pretty good price. We're kind of working on our earthquake thingy. This one is low sodium. 25%. Look at that. It was $22. It's on sale right now for $17.99. And there is a total of eight. At the at the um, grocery store, it'd be forty-eight dollars for a pack of eight, and it's only seventeen ninety-nine. So we picked up a case. Look at these; these are so cute. It's a three-pack of ham. It's twelve sixty-nine. Net weight is forty-eight ounces. That is so cute. That would last. It says boneless. Boneless. That would last a while. Yeah. Trying to see water at it. February 17th, 2024. It's only two years. It's only good for two years. What did you say, tuna? How much is a tuna? $17.99? Mm-hmm. You get uh, 12 cans. Yeah, that'd be good. And then our Kirkland uh, two dozen eggs was only $4.99. Another thing they have, too, is a chicken breast. Six cans. I picked up... Um, one can for 97 cents at Walmart. So six, uh, it is cheaper at Walmart. Wah, 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 wah. So that was 15.99. Yeah, go to Walmart. <laughs> Just something to think about. I mean, we're trying to prepare beans. We got plenty of beans. That's pretty neat. They're um, they're black and orange for Halloween chips. They are five seventy-nine. That's pretty cool. It was super cute. My um, old babysitter from the old neighborhood. She works here at Costco, so she was so happy to see my mom. My mom was so happy to see her. Queen G's all love you, and they're giving each other kisses, and that was pretty cool. So I'm glad that my mom got to. Huh. Got to see Valerie again, huh? Yeah, Val. I guess let's put your mom in. Okay. So anyways, we got what we needed here at Costco. Hope you guys enjoyed that a little bit. That was fun. Whoa, ah, 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 ah. Say it, Mom. Whoa, ah, 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 ah. Whoa, I can't stop. <laughs> It kind of catchy, huh? Hey, we're here. We unloaded all of the um, Costco and 
we are headed. God bless you, mister. <laughs> We're headed into Olive Garden for an early, early dinner. <laughs> We're still on that kick. Sorry about that, folks. But hey. So Jay's been busy. We have these coin buckets from Vegas, Boomtown. How many of you remember Boomtown? That was when Excalibur um, sort of just opened up. It was just built. That's how old I am. <laughs> this is all the pocket change that's been collecting over the last year, I guess. <laughs> Every time when we go to Vegas, I grab a bag of all our loose change and bring it home and I throw it in. Today I decided to go ahead and uh, sort through it, use the little money wraps. And it turns out I got over a hundred dollars. <laughs> Fourteen dollars and pennies. This one comes in the house. Self defense, man. <laughs> and I got one Susan B. Anthony dollar and a fifty cent piece. And then I still got. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. I still got some loose Get nickels. Get it fifty cent. And I still got. Hey, that's date night. <laughs> that's date night money right there. <laughs> You like Chevy Chase <laughs> in Vegas? <laughs> hey, I'm very, I'm very, no, the, the gratuity is not necessary. <laughs> oh, yeah, and he gives him all the change. Oh, my gosh, the Griswolds. That's too funny. Good job, honey. I'm getting dinner going. I'm trying a new marinade teriyaki. Oh, it's Kender's marinade and sauce teriyaki. Got this at Costco. It's our first time using that. It's in there. Mom is watching news. Jay's watching oh, something Homestead. <laughs> Look, he's still rolling the pennies. I went down to Dollar Tree and I got some more of the roll papers. I'm like, since you're on a roll, get it. <laughs> That's all I got for tonight. <laughs> okay, this just in. The sauce is really good. It's a keeper. All three of us enjoyed it. It's not like too salty or too sweet. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's really hard to find a good teriyaki sauce that doesn't do that. Six chicken thighs. Instead of grilling it like we planned, <laughs> I just stuck it into the oven. 375 degrees for about 50 minutes. Um, honestly, it turned out really nice and tender and juicy. And it was really good. So we're definitely going to be keeping that marinade. I'm in here with my mom. <gasps> She's going to go up on my seat. <laughs> I had my little tray table here. And we are watching YouTube. We're watching Christmas right now. Um, her and Byron attended the Western Navajo Fair. First timers is her video. Uh, we've been watching like Sierra Johnson's What Would Kitty Do, Urban Dis Jenny. Trying to catch up with our fellow natives. Mom likes to watch all of her YouTubers. And she just loves Christy. So do I. Hi Christy if you're watching. And Byron. What's up? <laughs> okay, today I am going to prep the artichokes that I got for sale, two for six. I have my breadcrumbs, garlic powder, and the Parmesan grated cheese, some salt, pepper, and olive oil. At least I can stand up. Usually, my husband Jay will prepare these, but today, since I have some time, I told him, don't sweat it. I'll do it. So I'm just going to use my Cutco scissors here and I'm going to cut these really pointy tips of the artichoke. Just cut them just like that. All the way around. It's kind of a, a weird weather. It's not sunny. It's about, I don't know, maybe 68 right now. Tomorrow is supposed to go up to the mid 80s. <laughs> so I don't know about fall, y'all. I finally put up our Halloween 
decorations, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. But I definitely want to get this started. I'm hoping to have dinner on the table by 5.30 today. I've been trying to have us eat earlier. That's what I want right there. Just like that, that's perfect. So now I'm gonna go ahead and finish the next one. Just gonna take some of the Italian breaded breadcrumbs. I just eyeball this because I've helped Jay make this so many times. So I'm guessing that's about a cup. So yeah, maybe about a cup and a half of the Italian breadcrumbs. Next, I'm going to add about a fourth cup of Parmesan cheese. Again, I'm just gonna eyeball it. I think that this is key to the stuffed artichoke. So about maybe a fourth, maybe a little bit more over a <laughs> fourth cup of that. And then I'm gonna add in some garlic powder. Now you can actually use maybe a garlic clove and mince that really well. But I think I'm gonna go about maybe a teaspoon gonna add maybe a couple of dashes of salt and then a couple dashes of pepper then here comes the olive oil I'm gonna probably do about two tablespoons that's one eyeball it and about two we're gonna give it a good stir and then see if there is anything that I need to add if anything it might be more olive oil I'm just gonna mix all of this goodness up really well. Like I said, you can probably just add olive oil as you go. So you want it to be a little bit on the moist consistency. Now what you could do, times I've done it is I would add melted butter into this Ooh, <laughs> but I really don't want to add the butter I'm trying to be a little bit more healthier <laughs> ah, there we go that's better Just tap it more It's not too dry, so it's gonna be easier to work with. There we go. Jay likes a lot more of the breadcrumb stuffing than Queen G and I, but Queen G and I will probably share this one. So I'm gonna do less on that one and then fill this one up for Jay. And then you just fill in all of the pockets with this goodness. When we were growing up, my stepmom would make artichokes, but just plain artichokes. And I never had artichokes growing up. It's just something that we never really was accustomed to eating at dinner. She would serve it just plain. And then she would have a little side of mayonnaise for us. And we would just dip each of the leaf in at the end of the end of the leaf into mayonnaise. And it was until Jay started playing around with making stuffed artichokes and I'm just now hooked. <laughs>
Well, 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 look at that. That fit perfect in here. This is my first time actually doing it the crock pot way. All right, next is I'm gonna add some water. And this is gonna go about one fourth up and I put about a cup of water in here. And I think it all depends on how large your crock pot is, but you really want it just a little bit enough for that steam. So I'm gonna place this on high for about the first hour, I would say, and then put it on low for the remaining three hours. That way it's slow and steady and it's gonna get so nice and tender and and the breadcrumbs will become moist and so forth. So there we go. I'm gonna place my timer on. That way I know when to change it to the low. Okay, well, I got that going. I was going to show you my little Halloween. <laughs> I just have, you know, just a few things. It says a little bat. I'm candy corn. It says happy haunting. A little bat over there. My little pumpkin there. My little flower centerpiece feather Halloween wreath there. The cute little pumpkin garland. <laughs> I've had these, like, for years. Queen G and I thought that would be really cute. My bats here, and then they light up at night. I'm also thinking about maybe putting my orange lights too over there because Queen G was saying it looks too Christmassy from afar. <laughs> I just threw this together, my little pumpkin, my black cat, and I got a pumpkin over there. Window sticker over there. I had the window guy come and fix um, one of the parts on this window. I have all my windows open and I really need to get those clean, but not in this video. Next is I'm gonna go through these and do a decluttering video next. to make a cucumber salad to go along with hubby's steak. fresh basil and Queen G and I are just watching the news I'm not kidding you the weather right now is like 80 <laughs> and tomorrow is supposed to be be like 85 which is awesome yeah tomatoes going <laughs> got some jalapenos Oh, that's what we need to do, hon. We need to grab this one right here. Grab some chili. I have a nice one over here. Look at this one. Woo-wee, that's going to be a good one. And I have some fresh chili pepper with our steaks. All right, got done making the cucumber salad. I used a green cucumber and that lemon cucumber with some of the tomatoes and fresh basil with a dash of Italian seasoning. Oh my gosh, this is our favorite. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's like gold. <laughs> All right, while that gets happy, our, ooh, look at that. Our artichokes are smelling so good right now. I did pour in probably like another half a cup of water but these are ready these are done i'm going to turn this on off 543 jay's finishing up with the steak so having a good dinner tonight all right it's dinner time but I really want to watch the yazi family they're live right now so i asked if queen g and jay be okay if we have that in the background just so i can keep up with them <laughs> I'll link their channel down below. Aww, just kidding. <laughs> okay, <go back. laughs> yeah.